Stampling all around. Stampling. Hello. It's Rimworld. How are you doing? Uh, slight problem. <laughs> it's like minor issue. Uh, one of my other channels got banned. It doesn't matter. It's a shit posting channel, but it got banned from YouTube. And now my upload button isn't working. So if this is a Patreon exclusive, that's why. Oh boy, I hope my entire channel isn't ruined forever. Hopefully it's just a server issue. Otherwise, I'll start looking for a new job. <laughs> Am I gonna be homeless because of memes? Did I sacrifice five years of work for memes? God, I'd do it again. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. It was worth every moment. Stumbling all around, stumbling all... Anyway, I was Rimworld, and uh, I've done a few things since last episode. Now how here I like to bite off far more than I can chew. You know how, like, I started working on four bases simultaneously. You know how, like, I wanted to build four mountain bases, all of which have smoothed and etched walls, which... <laughs> Take a very long time. Now I had a prison of like two dozen people. Well, a little, little time tick. I allow as much time tick as I thought was reasonable. Just so that we could put a dent in, well, look at this, the conversions and the smoothing and all the boring, boring stuff. But they did do one thing that is very cool. Mona's throne. Throner, if you will. They built Throner. Um, it's got a big mushroom on it, which is as close as I could get to something that felt... Naturous. Again, this mod is uh, the coolest thing anyone's ever done. Uh, it's got like a bunch of other ones that I, I was kind of like, uh, I'm maybe tempted by the tentacles because uh, you got to admit, Mona's a little bit eldritch. Uh, I was kind of tempted by like this one too because it's got those kind of almost like plant structure to it. But you know, I thought the mushroom was pretty perfect for her, especially because we've lived on a diet of exclusively mushrooms. <laughs> oh God, Lilith. I might have ruined the whole channel. I might Oh, also, here's the big thing. We had an exotic goods trader, and you might have noticed that we have run very, 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 very low on silver. And that is because that trade ship sold Vikings, Ultra Weapons, and the tech print for the high tier airship. But that's only part of the better, the, go the go goodness. <laughs> because you see, we already had a tech print for Viking Ultra Weapons, which I applied yesterday. And that means. If I'm not mistaken, not that we can build them right now, but if that means we can now unlock, yes, you completed the project's tech print requirements. We haven't got the resource, of course. We can build crypto weapons. And you know what? While we're there, let's also get the, oh my God, the airship was just a single tech print. I didn't even realize. And green, real name, no gimmicks. Well, someone in the comments said, I've just realized that was a, it was a play on Sanguine. You know, the same as Sanguifage. Sanguine, Sanguine. I said I did it, you know, years ago, and Rimworld copied me and called them Sanguifages. I did it first. Anyway, my good friend, Anne Green, is now a d duchess? I think she's a duchess. I don't remember. She's a dame, which is a, a, a knight, actually. I was completely wrong. Duchess is <laughs> miles away, you fool. Anyway, we can pick some uh, permits now. I think I'm going to take a gold drop. Because, ooh, our cooldown of 45 days, good lord. Um, shit, wow, that is quite a long time, isn't it? Um, I'm going to accept that one. We're also going to take the steel drop, because both of those could be, could be quite handy. My new goal was to get her one rank every single day. And her next rank is, uh, what is the next rank at this point? Praetor. What do we need for Praetor? Uh, 24 tiles, room impressiveness 50, all flawed, we've got that, she's got a double bed, an end table, a dresser, no work facility, she's got everything. Meditation throne, uh, all flawed, braziers, columns, harps, braziers must be lit, no work facilities. So we can go right to Praetor, no problem. The reason I bring that up now, of course, is we have safeguarding aristocrats. They would like to join us. Uh, oh, we need not only a bedroom for Dame Anne, but we also... Dame Anne is so good, by the way. We also need one for uh, the Count, and they're also going to deploy two mech cluster shit, so we can't take it unless I build more bloody bedrooms. Ah! So this room here was going to be the... Uh, what's going to be the, uh, the, the, the other noble bedroom, right? Which is why I built it there. So, given that we're giving Anne and Mona and all the faction heads their own specific death rest chamber, there's Mona's, obviously we've started there... Why don't we just take this apart? Or more specifically, why don't we reinstall, like, Toongi's Deathrest casket into her bedroom? 
So why don't we get rid of the uh, lovely sofas, though they are very fetching. Do you remember, we don't want the Empire to know that we are... We don't really want them to know that we're sanguifages. They might not be too happy about a total sanguifage takeover. So we got to keep this quiet. So before we invite nobles, we need to... To kind of hide all this stuff away. Someone in the comments, and I did have a plan for this. Someone in the comments said, use all the negative space between uh, the walls in Anne's castle for something. Now, I was going to build a bunch of secret, sneaky little corridors with windows that we could use to spy on our guests or just, you know, kind of sneak around the castle a little bit, right? So we dig a, a secret passage. I need to find some sort of mod that lets us have sliding bookcase doors or something like that. Tent doors and, like, disguise it? I'm not sure. We'll find a way to do it. We have spooky little passageways going all the way around the castle. Now, what I was thinking is maybe we hide a door in the kitchen somewhere and we fill this area with the hemogen. So that's where we'll throw the vats and the grinder and the, and the drain caskets. Oh, have I only just noticed this? Wait, what? Where is it? Apparently, the, uh, the Achimians don't s uh, never sleep. It's, it's right there. Are you actual fool? Never noticed that. I, I hadn't noticed that in, uh, before at all. I was about to say, w which one is their bedroom so I can reinstall the death rice caskets? They don't have a bedroom. Oh, uh, this was going to be the room for the, uh, for like a Volka, who's going to be the leader of this faction. I'll just turn it into a really nice death rice chamber for them instead. Oh, what a moron. Why are you sleeping in your death rice casket? What's wrong with your bed? Why do you keep unassigning your own bed, you little weirdo? If we're going full on secretive sanguifage? I'm going to throw some drapes in the bedroom to cover up their... To cover up the death rest caskets. Because we don't want, like... We don't want the Imperials poking... You know, like, walking down this corridor and looking through the door and seeing death rest caskets. They'd be ticked off immediately. I'm going to replace these doors with windows with, with, with nice, solid doors for a bit more privacy. The only problem, I think, is that even though they don't need to sleep, they still need a bedroom for royal ranks. And eventually, when I start working on a Valka's Royal Ranks, that's going to be that's gonna be an issue, right? We did get, and I think this is cool for the kind of high-tech aspect of this faction, or this sub-faction. We did just get modern furniture as a resource, so like the, the ergonomic beds and stuff like that. I don't know if it'll count for Royals, but it would be very appropriate, given that it uses components. Oh, there's those advanced beds, too, from Vanilla Expanded, isn't there? Oh, you know what? Give me some bins. For the time being, we'll just take what we can get then and see if it counts for royal titles eventually when we start working on that. I'm just going to give you, like, regular, regular stuff. Why are all the doors only half a door? I don't understand. I'd like a refund or at least use half the wood. And my good friend, Leowich. They all look so cool, don't they? I mean, this is, like, purely by accident, right? Because I've barely set up any of the outfits. I forced Mona to wear the helmet. I forced Anne to put on the crown and then the three researchers to wear the dessert armor. Everyone else, though, like Cops and Slippery being our crafting people, they've just put those uniforms on themselves. Okay, this was this was on them. I feel like they've all got so much personality. My friend can drop that fancy hammer and can piss off. By which I mean you can go and join Anne's glorious empire out there in the world. Actually, give me a shirt. That's a cool shirt. I want Bazaroto to have that. Take off all your clothes. We are the good guys. Yes, I've stripped a man naked and sent him out into the frozen wastes. What of it? Oh, that looks so much better. Oh, Bazroto, you look so cool. We gotta sort out that, that undershirt, but that looks great. Oh, it finally happened. Stop distracting me from trying to please the empire. It's Tomboy. Well, in fact, if anybody is going to please the Empire... Put it politely, it seems as if everybody fell in love with this character. Oh, much like Stench did. Uh, and that's kind of the point, right? Because she is a succubus. I think that, even though she's very good at social, and she's made for a very good town leader out there in the world, I think I'm recruiting her. I think I'm going to bring her in fully into the colony. Let's... Uh, can we reinstall the drain caskets? Uh, Tungi, come here a second. Let's kick you out. Oh, we can't reinstall them. Oh, okay. Sorry. By, by kick you out, I mean, um, let's put you back in the drain casket. <laughs> Guess temporarily I'll... Oh my god, I can't even reinstall them in the kitchen. We don't have enough blood. Ugh. And now, if I'm not mistaken, let's, let's go ahead and chuck you in there. These were all the people that were high and intellectual that I was going to have. Oh, somebody said that this person's famous. I have no idea, but hello. Welcome. Uh, you can be my medical leader in that case. So you've got 11 medical, 11 social. Oh, shit. Like, oh, was I keeping medical and not intellectual? Ugh. Oh, no. This person's good at intellectual. Okay. Give me James and Leowich then. Shit, it's 30 and we've only got 20. Balls. Um, in that case, I'm gonna have you make a field hospital temporarily. We're gonna rename this 
to uh, intellectual. And then this one we'll rename to, uh, what were you good at again? Like medical? Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> Hello, friend. I need wood. I need a lot of wood. Ooh, a tip for Neutramine. I can't afford these things. I just sent off all of my silver. Are you selling an entire house? Oh, that's a good deal for only a thousand silver. But I'm very bare minute. I've got to buy this steel. I've got so much to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aura. Aura. Hello. Uh, what are you good at? Medical animals. Oh, mining. Mining. I think I prefer mining, actually, because we do need a lot of gold for all this royal crap. Fine. Okay. Congratulations. You can go to Mining City. They've got a passion for it. They've got a passion for it, and they're enthralled. They love the vampires. They love the mining. They are going to be so happy. You can't even claim that I am not the good guy right now. Oh, another person. Adam. Adam, what are you good at? Plants. Plants. We need a plants outpost now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll start the plants outpost out there. Okay, Adam, off you go, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Again, he's enthralled. He has a, a super high passion for plants. He loves it. He's an expert. He gets to do whatever job makes him happy as long as he's contributing to the empire. This is this is nice, okay? I'm not just forcing him to go join the mining camp because he has some skill in mining. I'm letting him pursue his passions in life. You know what? Fine. I'm going I'm to prove that I'm the good guy here. I'm going to allow Aura to, to not join the mining camp. She has a double passion in animals. She's got 12 animal skill. I don't need ultimately an animal's uh settlement but you know what i'm gonna let these two stay together because one of them is good at plants one of them is good at animals we probably can't build a specialized outpost with one person for either of those skills so we'll keep them together for a while until we get more people in either of those i'm letting them build lovely farms i am the good guy you gotta think we've turned these people from like like what were you you were like a bloodthirsty a bloodthirsty feral vampire you were returned this is a zombie it's a zombie and i'm putting them in charge of the animals. I mean, tell me that's not a kind thing to do. Rehabilitation. We're just waiting on a little bit of gold so we can start working on the rest of this noble's bedroom, I suppose. Um, where is bedroom? Here we are. I want to build. Oh, man, I really should build them the royal stuff, but I can't afford it. God damn it. So expensive. All they need, realistically, let's just stick with the bare minimum. They need a bed, right? So we'll slap a bed down. They need a dresser, and it's only a count, after all. And then eventually we'll upgrade it so we can kind of take into account all of the all of the, the larger ranks. Should be really designing it for like high stellarch, and then anybody can sleep in there, right? But this is fine. We can we can slowly build it up. Oh! No! The bloody count is the one that requires the royal bed, and it has to be fine floored. Oh, you shitbag. Okay, that can make things a little bit harder because I don't think I've got enough cloth for that, but I will give it an honest go. We need 6,000 cloth. Okay, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I guess fine sandstone tiles, and again, we'll have to upgrade it later on. Um, fine slate tiles. Here you go. Shit. What a massive pain in the ass. He can just make a farming outpost. Oh, sick. Okay. Oh, I should have looked at the requirement for the animals outpost. I'm actually going to see if she can just build it by herself then. Tomboy. Tomboy, hello. People are going to be very pleased to see that you have joined us, my friend. Don't understand why? What the fuck is even that? <laughs> ah, from Vanilla Race Expanded. Hi, mate. Everybody's favorite new mod. Wow, the count is, oh, the count is going to be in for a good time. Just got to make sure you press that and not like the fire spew or the detonate buttons. I had to off. Oh, you can change sex. Oh, my God. This is a very powerful tool to use against to use against royal visitors, huh? Oh, I'm a big fan of this. I get the feeling some of you at home, our channel, will probably be a fan of this too. I don't really know why, I won't lie to you, but somebody said make her a white suit, so um, so what we're gonna do, if we've got the research, we've got jumpsuit, that's not quite the same, is it? Um, tuxedo, is that what it's called? No, we haven't got the research for it yet. I can make it work. I can make it work, don't worry, this is gonna be fine. Ooh, two of made it. Okay, uh, I, I'm, I'm just gonna sell them Pretty much everything I've taken with the caravan is to be sold to these people. And then in exchange, if you've got any gold, I will be your best friend for life. They do! 150. Ah, uh, it's not really that much, but you know what? I'll take it. We've got some paintings. Ooh, I'll take those. They're only 70 each. That's a pretty good deal. They sell an entire TV. Oh, uh, sorry, an entire house and an entire TV. I'll take that, sure. Oh my god, Psychic Reader for Anne. I like the sound of that. I think I'm going to keep it. Side Trainer for Resurrection. Oh, it's Necropath. I was going to have Anne do that anyway. Then there's also Time Reversal. 
Inefficiently siphons life force to a living target, age in the caster by five years, de aging the other by 10. It's not really that useful when we're all sanguifages, right? Trying to stockpile as many advanced components as I find as well so that we can build the thrones, right? Because all the thrones are pretty expensive in terms of advanced components and we. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, what is it? Manhunting Vargulfs. No. We could be the. Oh, I forgot about that mech cluster. Hello? <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Very quickly, before that all kicks off, uh, create outpost. Can you do an animal outpost for me? Hunting? Does Is that affected by animal skill? Probably not. I think we need like a ranching outpost or something like that, huh? Ranch. Must have a pair of animals. Oh, shit. Um, in that case, I guess we will go hunting then, huh? It's good enough. I'm not happy about it, but that's fine. Cumulative animal skill 12. Oh, it does run off animal skill. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, no, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Come, here they come, here they come. Oh, now it's time. If you use Bloodstorm, everyone in this local area will be affected by it, and you will lose the goodwill for any non-hostile faction currently visiting this place. Bloodstorm takes 10 seconds to cast and cannot be interrupted. When complete, the rain of blood will fall everywhere, affecting both normal people and sanguifages. Everyone on the map except sanguifages will be affected by the blood mist, causing intense vomiting. Sanguifages will not generate psychic heat while casting psychos. I do. Honestly, I feel like this is a waste against non- non-humanoid raiders. Right, let's just get this one on autocast. I presume. I presume it can be autocast. Hang on, let's see if she does it. She doesn't look like she's doing it automatically. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I can I can do this myself. What? Kind of fire roofed. Oh, shit. That's why. Oh, it looks cool though, eh? Okay, we've just got to get just got to get slightly better at shooting that thing. Ah! I'm a little bit concerned about this about this group of raiders. Cops go there. Evolka come down. There you go, there you go. Three good melee characters holding the line like that should be good. Let's get you two behind, just in case things go very south very fast. But I don't think we'll have to worry about it to that extent. She's firing again. And be careful with those. Everybody's uh, sanguifage, though, so a blood mist seems like it might only be a good thing. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. That seemed to, that seemed to do a lot of damage. It's really, really hard to tell how effective a sanguine, sanguine longsword it's really hard to tell how effective that was. Now, does it drain hemogen? It does, but not a huge amount. Damn. And that's the raid over. Honestly, next Mana Hunts pack, I might try and let Anne deal with it by herself. See if we can solo it. Oh, shit. I never even considered that Tomboy would make for a... I'm not changing her name. It's just too perfect. I... It's... She's such a good social character. And I presume she's got, like, angelic beauty or whatever else. Staggeringly ugly, but that's being cancelled out by... Oh, has it been cancelled out, though? Angelic Beauty staggeringly ugly. Oh, shit. Maybe it cancels out to zero. Oh, well, that would be a problem. Old Sippy? I ingested Humogen. It nourished my body and soul, but it was as cold as my heart. <laughs> Let's go from Bazroto here. Um, physically appealing. Beauty times 230. Oh, it, it does cancel out because it's physically appealing, but there isn't physically unappealing or anything like that on there. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, well, that works fine. Child. An adventuring child. Is it actually a child? No, you just... Oh, no, you're 14. You're 14. That's a 40-year-old man. You can't... You can't lie to me like that. Axel Hurtle. Oh, they are a genetic thrall. They're a sangra thrall. He will enjoy being fed on and respond positively to the feeder. Oh, no. Well... Come on, then. I'll build a casket for you. We are the good guys, and I wouldn't want sweet... What was his name? Axel something? I wouldn't want him to, uh, you know, not be constantly happy. Carried a drain casket. There you go. And he's going to be in Cloud9. He's going to be the happiest he's ever been. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to the colony. Mona's title changed. Oh, what? why was Mona's title changed? She's now a Praetor. Oh. I guess it just ticks up over time. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, cool. Maybe one of the other people ticked down or died or something like that. So which one of you do I want to keep? I only want two people in drain caskets because we're not we're not evil after all. Uh, Big Red has good crafting skill. That might allow us to make advanced components. And then Lilith. Lilith is artistic. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll get rid of these. Oh, God, this is a nightmare. Help me. Carry Lilith to the drain casket. Mona arrest big red and we'll get you converted and sent over to the crafting place oh my god and because you've got 17 social we can already choose an expertise for tomboy warning 
A rest chance of pressure recruitment rate, negotiating, or proselytizing. So what we'd have to do, I mean, look, either way, it's basically going to cut the recruitment time down by half. I'm going to go wardening. Got two days to try and build this. I don't think it's going to happen, is it? We've got to keep them here for 25 days. Are you joking? Oh, Lord. Oh. Palatina. It's a white rose. What on earth is a white rose? Uh, they are asking to seek refuge at Blood Gulch. They're being hunted by the Inquisition. Are they uh, Sanguifage too, then? Uh, hard to tell them apart from normal humans. White rose vampires. Oh, okay. Okay. So much for getting the... <laughs> so much for getting the rank every day heart. There's just so much to do. A space drone. Okay, Avalka, you can get this hacked in like no time at all. I'm still going to get that crown for Anne, I promise. Oh my god. Lilo is 201%. Okay, keep going with Lilo. I think Avalka's missing an eye or something like that. God, we've got to get some bionics going. And you've got death rust exhaustion. Oh. That wasn't even the raid for the space drone. That was just a, a random raid. Oh, shit. Look at all of you. The second I empty the prison, we get so many new volunteers. They just love Anne so much. I mean, there can be no other explanation. They must have heard how good she is. Seems more steel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mona, I've got to set this up as a defensive position because this is twice in very quick succession. Make them vomit? Do we do Bloodstorm now? Oh, we've got to see it, haven't we? Oh, she hasn't got enough Psy Focus now. Bollocks. Wait, one of them lets her regain Psy Focus for, for Hemogen, if I'm not mistaken. Blood Focus. Yes, that's it. Blood Focus, Blood Focus. Okay. And that should gain back side focus. There you go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then the second it's available, go. Bloodstorm, man. Bloodstorm. I want to get them before they go under the mountain. Oh. How long does it last? Did it say? Oh, shit. Okay, do it. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. And now... I presume the weather type will change to Bloodstorm, right? Or maybe it's like a toxic fallout and it'll, it'll add a whole new effect. Whoa. Oh, it hasn't kicked in yet. Hasn't kicked in yet. That's okay, because look, there's obviously this, this open area here. Maybe I can even push back the mountain roof for... for the next occasion. Shit, this is nuts. It's firing. She's firing. Oh my god, she can hit them all the way back there? Holy crap. Um, here. Oh, she's totally out of hemogen. Balls. Okay, you know, honestly, that's fine. Oh, and look, there's the blood rain. It does count as a weather effect. Mystical downpour of blood caused by forbidden hemosage psycast. While non hemogenetic individuals are choking on blood, sanguifages regenerate hemogen and can cast psycasts without worrying about psychic heat. Oh. She, so she's going to regenerate hemogen and. Is that psy focus still being affected by that other power? I'm not sure. Soaked in blood. I'm soaking in blood. She is just firing them non-stop, though. I still on the other ones, too. Holy shit, what have you done, Anne? Oh, this is cool. Oh, great shots. I feel sorry for the Decay team. We need to take this away. I've given them an embrasure. Oh, get them. Get them. And all the... Oh, look, they're all so happy. They're all so happy. Blood mist. Special sanguifage particle is blocking airways and causing intense vomiting. Shit, this is crazy. I think Anne, with that power, she genuinely might be able to solo some of this stuff. Oh, look, she's just... She can hit them from so far away. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, cops. Oh, cops, I'm sorry. Shit, I totally forgot that you weren't a sanguifage. And Slipper isn't either, but Slipper is indoors. Honestly, cops, go go hide. Go hide. Get out of here. I'm going to get the melee squad ready. Mech hive. Why? Destroy the space drone. Oh, shit. Let's send melee squad down to deal with... To deal with these. That's a dangerous idea, I will admit. Oh, there's so fucking many still. Oh, my God. I don't know the best way to go about this. I'll be honest. I, I Honestly, I think we just forget about the space drone. That's on me. Unless they start retreating very, very fast. We're, we're probably just going to have to accept that the other one is lost. Um... Look, Volker, let's bring you down. You could at least jump and assassinate one of them. Oh, they are going down pretty quick, though. Get you to kill Clayton. Go. And execute. Come on. Nice. Good stab. Good stab. Injured. Oh. Okay, come down and give him a hand. Just come down and give him a hand. Hopefully, we can drop a few more and end this before... Shit, before we have to worry about this mechanoids. You come here, and then we can do that toxic... Toxic cloud? Big brain? Big brain? Very big brain. Okay, Volker's down. That's okay. That's okay. These things happen. Oh, Pierpos is down too. Oh, fight forward. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. We've done it. Okay. Turn around. 
Turn around. Defend the... Oh, we are never going to get there in time. Holy shit. <laughs> They're right there. Hey, okay, forget about that. Forget about the crown. Forget about the crown. We've got we to capture people and tend our people. Oh, my God. This is a lot of juggling. Jesus Christ. Okay, Petty Park. And, oh, Petty Park was up and then is down and now is back up again. Cat Brain. Okay. 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 This is good. This is good. We're making up like bandits. What about those mechanoids, though? How are they doing? Um, yeah, we've lost the space drone. Honestly, again, totally on me. I thought that a Volker was, was still up there hacking it. And I think they just walk off the map, don't they? Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's, a, it's a sad... It's a sad side effect, but that raid was just really poor timing. Oh my god, look at the blood everywhere. Holy shit. That blood rain is so cool. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I think we're in control. I think we're in control. Everybody is fine. Eee. Oh, that's fine. It's just a prisoner. Everybody's fine. We almost had a couple of death rests, but no big deal. How are you looking? How are the prisoners looking? Bloody out 19. Fine. They've already been tending them quite well. Nails is fine. What a total mess. Bleeding out in two hours. Okay, we'll work on you next moment. Start working on cave. You've got to build a better prison. <laughs> this is... This is ridiculous. It's like I, I, I always try and focus on emptying the prison as soon as possible, right? Because all these prisoners slow the bloody game down. We have to dedicate all this time to wardening and feeding and dealing with prison breaks and blah, blah, blah. And I just can't stay on top of it. We're going to have to build a dedicated proper prison somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe on the... Uh, maybe, like, up here on the other side of the kitchen. That way we can take them food quicker. Might be a bad plan. It's probably fair to say we can forget about this quest. Sorry, Anne. Oh, I was saving... I, mean, I was saving the components for thrones. Right. But at this point, we're missing so many limbs. I, I've got to try and do something. Anne's missing a toe. Batsoroto's fine. Toomgi, though, missing that whole arm is is really setting us back for building. Piapos is missing a leg and a lung. Petty Poir is missing a couple of things on the right hand. A Volca, man, you've had so many digits ripped off. Of course, missing that eye there too is kind of a big deal. Lilo only has a wooden hand. You're missing a humerus. Well, that's not very humerus at all. We need so many arms. Second toe. Slippery's missing an arm or missing a hand. Tomboy's fine. Psychic vampirism, what is that? A person has a psychic parasite bond with another person based on the psychic bond in gene. What does that do? Do I have to worry about that? Oh, they've got a psychic bond with stench. Is that because they're lovers? Person's bonded individual is nearby. Oh, I was going to send them away. Shit. And they've got a permanent... Oh, God. A permanent brain injury. That might have been from when we captured them in the first place, to be honest. Oh, God. I mean, instead of investing into the thrones, let's build a couple of bionic arms. Let's throw out a bionic eye as well. Ooh. Make grand projectors. Ooh. I didn't realize we could make these. Holy crap. I thought they were a building that you build, but I guess you build them, install them, similar to, say, like a piano or a harp or whatever, and then you can do things with them after that. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Friendship ended with very fancy royal bedroom. Prison architect is my new best friend. I think that, look, this corridor here is maybe a good secret area to throw down a prison. Hmm, where shall we put it? Maybe, maybe like a secret... Ooh, on the other side of the dining room. That's kind of a fun plan. Behind, like, a secret wall. I'm sure I can come up with something. So we dig that out, and it can be a very thin corridor, and we could just keep this, like, really, really rustic, and, and just keep it, like, unquarried slate and make it really grim. Gene trader blood feeder. Blood scarabs. What? Not quite a tick yet. Not quite a mosquito. It's something worse. Feeding on the dead and dying. The females store blood in their body for when they reach maturity. Those who need blood often farm the scarabs for hemogen. Whoa, so they just produce hemogen like, like milk? Oh, shit. That is absolutely disgusting. I'll take a uh, male and female, I suppose. Oh, God, they've got slaves as well. <laughs> this one's a succubus. Outlander. We could, we could free them. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Um, oh, God. Rachel scattered sanguifage. Ugh, ugh, how am I supposed to keep all this stuff? I can't afford this. I, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Kimmy, I'm sorry. Kimmy, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do my best here. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. I'm not happy about this, but this is this is fine. Hello. Oh, I'm was a child. Oh, now we have to raise this friggin' child. Didn't even check their skills to see if they're any good at intellectual. Great, you'll be great in the intellectual colony. You can't do anything, but I, I'm sure I can... Oh, Shattered Empire. Release them. Release them. Emancipate. Go. No, 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 no. Don't execute. Fucking hell, that's a four-year-old. 
<laughs> We're the good guys. Okay, you go. And then uh, one of them was Outlander, you know, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, you. Okay, emancipate. See, we're the good guys. You see? You're scattered sanguifages, so I'm going to recruit you and we'll send you off to a colony somewhere. You've got a plant. You've got a super high passion for plants. You love it. Items from medical. Oh. <gasps> a tech room for new training. Oh, shit. Well, thank you. So, agent, in theory, you're going to go off and you're going to tell your lovely friends of the Outlander Union we freed you. What about the Imperial? Boom. Okay. Shattered Empire has reached 13. Very good. The Outlander Union has gone up to 35. This is nice. Told you we were the good guys. You didn't believe me. So anyway, here's my horrifying prison complex. What I'm going to do here... <laughs> I'm a monster. I'm just going to throw little slab beds. Just like that, I think. And then we're going to put a door right in front of it. And then we'll never have to worry about prison breaks. Or belligerent prisoners. Or people getting on my nerves. Ever ever again. Our visitors and our empire friends, and, and nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to see the prisoners. They're going to be well kept, okay? We're not going to treat them cruelly. It's just, a, I will admit, a little bit cramped. This is nice. This is very convenient. It's right next to the kitchen. <laughs> Confined interior. No! No, it's nice. It's a nice place. Christ. This really did end up being a lot more extra than I thought, but holy crap, this is great. Look at it. Look at how many people we've got converting them over. And you know what? You can go berserk. That's totally fine. I, it's, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Sweep the legs. Sweep the legs. We love sweeping the legs. Kapow. Okay. Oh, God. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. <laughs> you just opened the door and hit them a few times. That actually worked really well. Okay. Do it again. Oh, my God. This is the biggest brain thing I've ever done in my whole life. How am I so good at Rimworld? All the time. Just so good. 7,000 hours, by the way, and it's always a complete accident when I do something... Oh, do something genius. Uh, you know what? Just just you know, knock them down now. There you go. Well, I'd say we absolutely nailed it when it came to uh, improving Anne's ranking among the Empire. Oh, God. Nothing happened. <laughs> it was... Yesterday, I said, please don't send me any more mech clusters. I want raids. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to regret having ever said that, but you know what we have made a lot of progress with? Look at Anne's empire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different outposts, all delivering her an abundance of resources. The, eventually, we're going to get to the point where our sanguifages can live in luxury. They can just do whatever they want. They can play their music, view the art gallery when I eventually build that, sit on their thrones all day and think. They can use their thinking stool for research. They can do what they want. It's not going to matter because our empire will support the whole thing from the background. Good day. Good use of a day. Well done. This might be the longest series I ever do, and we haven't even got to the long parts yet. This is all the easy ranks. I mean, count is just base game. You wait till we get up to high stellar. Oh, God. What have I agreed to? Thank you, of course, to the patrons for allowing this series to exist in the first place. As per usual, there will be a Patreon video update soon. As soon as I have everything, you know, kind of lined up, everything's working fine. We're working on the new office actually pretty much today, so... Hopefully soon I'll have somewhere dedicated I can work that isn't just a very warm bedroom. Thank you to Scrungus, Dames Ditchell, Gigi, Seal Food, Galupo, A Million Violets, Cicere, Cesium, Takedown Relic, Feather Blacker, Tenacious Bloom, Harpio, Drastanus, Luna Wolf, Oreo Monster, Dwumutsixa, Jack, Higgins, Coyote, Seattle, Dexter, Low, Christian Clark, Caius, Rave God, Zarko, Yanev, Noah, and Nephine for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you all for keeping this series and the channel going. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you as well, of course, to Raptor Mother, Kutakuti, What Would Starling Do, Red Racer, B18, V v v tar underscore banana master and lord of sofa see you all tomorrow